Hey, what is up guys? I by Help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you a very unique feature on your iPhone and iPad that you've probably never seen or heard about. And this is called Hot Corners. And Hot Corners is a feature that's been around on macOS on the computers for quite some time. Now Apple has brought it over with iOS 13.3 to the iPhone and the iPads as well. Now this is most likely going to be more useful for iPad users, but it is also available on the iPhone. So I'm just going to show you here on the iPhone. Now Hot Corners is a feature that allows you to tap on certain corners of your iPhone to invoke a particular action. So for example, you can tap on the top right and it'll take a screenshot or bring up Siri, things like that. So let's head on over to settings here and show you how it works. It is under accessibilities. It is an accessibility feature. You wanna tap on touch and then the assistive touch here and make sure you turn it on. Now assistive touch must be turned on for this to work. You wanna scroll all the way down and you'll find dual controls. Right here, make sure you enable that. And then you have your feedback actions, you have your movement tolerance, and then you have right here, the hot corners. Hot corners allows you to set top left, right, bottom left, bottom right. As you can see here, I can tap into the categories and select which action I want it to perform when I hover or tap on the top left corner. So I have it to take a screenshot here for the top left. Top right, I have Siri, bottom left, the control center, or the app switcher, sorry, and the bottom right, the control center. Now you also have a timer on the bottom here, as you can see, this is the time that it would take for that particular action to take effect once you hover above that particular corner or tap on that corner. So I'm gonna set it for a half a second. And every time I tap on that corner in a half a second, that action will be performed according to the corner that I tap. Now you want to go ahead and set up your mouse. So all you have to do is go ahead and select a device right here. So a pointing device. We're going to go into Bluetooth devices. Let's turn on this mouse and put it on pairing mode. Now Bluetooth devices or Bluetooth mouse, uh, some are supported, some are not. So just make sure you pick one that is supported. I'll link a few down below. Let's go ahead and tap and pair the mouse. There it goes. Once it's done pairing, it is connected. You'll find that the actual cursor is right there. And every time I hover on a particular section in half a second, it would actually go ahead and click for me without having to tap on the mouse controls. You can control iOS just like you normally would. And again, this is going to be very useful for iPad owners, but it's also available on the iPhone. Now you may remember that on the top left, I had the screenshot. So hover on the top left, boom, screenshot is taken. Hover on the top right, it will actually bring up Siri as I already have it set. Let's go ahead and do that top left again for the screenshot. There we go. It didn't work the first time. That's why I did it again. Let's go ahead and set the bottom left. Right here it is, boom, app switcher is invoked as I have it set up and let's go to the bottom right and you can see that on the bottom right, half a second, boom, control center. Now you can even set it to a quarter of a second so it's even faster if you wish to do so but I think half a second is probably the best bet because it does hover pretty quickly here and select the options pretty quickly. So you can actually scroll with the mouse as you can see here and select your options and control the entire experience on your iPhone and iPads with hot corners now available on iOS 13.3. You can see it right there it is on the bottom of the screen. Right there it is, hot corners, and you can set those up and use a Bluetooth device such as a mouse to control your iPhone. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you'll be using this on iPhone or iPad for any particular reason. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.